Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can easily run Windows applications on your Mac. Now, the reason I first found out about this is I wanted to actually play some old games from my childhood that I remember playing on Windows. And, uh, you know, I found this application. It's called Wine. And what it does is it's not an emulator, uh, but it lets you run Windows applications on your Mac. And it's as simple as that. So here's the page where you can download it. Now, the reason I recommend this download page rather than the official Wine page is because this download includes Wine Bottler, and with Wine Bottler, you can actually turn your Windows applications right into OS X applications, and it's really nice. So here's the download, and of course, I'll have this link below the video so you can check this out. So once you have this downloaded, you can open up the DMG, and of course, just like most Mac OS X installs, you just drag these apps to your applications folder. Now you can see here on my desktop that I have a couple different applications and I'm going to show you how these can run on here. And these were actually the games I wanted to play. So what I can do here is just go into my applications folder. I'm going to open up Wine and here it'll run up in your menu bar right here. So what I can do here is I can right click on any application and open with Other. And I'm going to scroll down here until I find Wine. And I'm going to open this with Wine. So when I hit open, you're going to see this little window pop up right here, and it's going to ask you what you want to do with this file. So I can run it right directly within a Wine folder, or I can convert this to a simple OS X application. But what I'm going to do for this demo is just run it right in the folder. So we're going to hit go, and it'll take just a little bit, and your application will pop up. So here you can see Jezball running on my Mac, and of course this is a very classic Windows application, quite an old one too, and uh, it's a lot of fun. You can see it runs smoothly as it really should since it's pretty simple, uh, but you can see there's no graphical glitches. All their Windows menus appear as they would, and you can hit About, and there you can see Copyright 1992 Microsoft. Uh, you know, it is the game. And it looks just like it would on Windows. You have the little white mouse cursor, just like in Windows. Uh, it's very accurate and, and true to life. So we can try another game here. We'll open up Chips Challenge. So Chips Challenge is always one of my favorite games. And you can see, once again, runs very smoothly on uh, OS X. And, you know, it's as simple as that. And I can keep going on and on. And, of course, I could play this game for hours. But you get the idea of it. And So these are old games, but lots of new games run as well. Uh, you're not just limited to classic games. But there I died. So now here I'm going to show you how you can actually turn one of these Windows applications right into an OS X application. So if I open with Wine here and I select Convert to Simple OS X Application, I can hit Go and then open this up. You're going to see this menu here. And I've tried this out with a couple different apps and it hasn't worked for all of them. Like it didn't seem to work for Chips Challenge, uh, but I don't know if that was just something I was doing wrong. Uh, but it, it works better with applications that are self-contained in one file and don't have multiple folders and different files that go along with them. So you can see here, for this a single file, I'm going to select Copy Only uh, because I want to select this, as it says, if the file is the actual executable, which it is. So if you had this application here and it had multiple files that go with it, like a couple folders full of DLLs or something like that, you wouldn't want to select this. And you can pretty much just forget about everything that's on here. Uh, and then what you want to do if you want this application to run on computers that don't have Wine installed is you can select self-contain. So this includes all the Wine binaries so the app can run, like I said, without prior installation of Wine. And I could check silent install, but I don't really need to do that. And then I'm going to hit install. So now I can name this app and I'm going to call it Minesweeper. And I'm going to hit save. Now I've noticed even for simple apps like Minesweeper, which is a very small application, it seems to take a little while to create the application. I'm not sure why that is, but it'll probably take a few minutes depending on the size of your application. And while that's running, I'm going to show you as well this website here where you can look at different games and different applications that run well in Wine. So here you can see some top 10 lists of different games that are running, different applications. Uh, Here's Adobe Flash CS3. You could run that if you wanted to run Flash. So these are just some of the applications that will run in Wine. Lots of them will that aren't listed here. Uh, but you can just try out the applications you need to run. 
So you can see here it created this successfully and right here on the desktop is the Minesweeper application and you can see there it just generated the icon for it as well, a very low res one but still. And I can open up Minesweeper and it says preparing down here. It takes just a little while and uh, the first time it runs it's going to do a little update thing. But there you can see Minesweeper running. I've never been good at this game but you can see here it running and I died already. But there it is and now this is an OS 10 application. If I hit get info you can see that it is an Intel application and it also doesn't need Wine to be installed because it does include the Wine binaries. But you can see that it makes the one small Windows application a whopping 229 megs because it includes all the Wine files as well. But there it is and that's how you can run Windows applications on your Mac. And this is really great if you've just switched to the Mac or if you just have a couple Windows applications that you really need to run and you haven't been able to and you don't want to install Windows on a boot camp partition or something like that, it's really handy, assuming the program you want will work. So that's about all. If you have anything that you'd like to see me do a video on, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.